Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday. It's another Frilici Friday and it is a fabulous Friday. Let me tell you, we have so many good things to share with you today and I'm gonna just like cut right to it because I'm so darn excited. I got my my black and orange on. Hello, Miss Philomena, I gotta like stand up. I feel like the camera, you know what? We're gonna fix it. Hold on one sec, sorry, my hand's probably gonna be right in the way. I'm gonna put that down just a little bit because I felt like it was too high up. So anyway, yeah, so hello, Miss Teresa. So yeah, we had an awesome, awesome announcement yesterday. We get to play basketball. Kids in high school, all winter sports get to resume. We have been on like lockdown hiatus for so long and we are so very, very excited. So huge day in the Frilici household yesterday when that news came down from the governor that the kids could actually play basketball again. So all of a sudden, Monday is the very first Alma High School basketball game. So Cade, my son, is a senior and we've been just waiting and waiting. Not patiently, I will say. We have not been waiting patiently, but hello, Susie, hello, Cindy. So yeah, we're just so very excited and thankful and grateful that these kids can actually start playing ball again. So yeah, big, awesome, good news. So in honor of that, I found my most obnoxious orange sweatshirt and put it on to say yes all right let's go panthers so yeah anyway monday so i know you guys have all been missing me sharing about um basketball and all of that that's been you know we haven't been able to talk about that all winter long hey nikki normally they start uh practice like in november and games in december so we've been uh, no games in december january and we thought it was going to be all of february too which is just going to be absolutely ridiculous but okay here we go so monday first game so next facebook live i'll be telling you guys giving you some updates Updates on that hopefully having good news to share with you guys so but today yes awesome news so and okay so let's get to it we have the fun this is such a cute stamp set the punch party stamp set hey Diana is what we are going to be featuring on today's Facebook live so this is just a super cute stamp set if you can see all of the little sentiments hey Erin welcome um, <clears throat> we have and kind of some valentine -y themes right because valentine's day is going to be here before we know it so this fun little one and i wish i had my glasses sharon hello welcome that says uh, my heart is wherever you are so that one's sweet right then we have the happy birthday bravo we've got some fun imagery that just kind of can go around any of these sentiments right like hope you feel better really soon. I wasn't sure quite what that one said. Um, a heartfelt thanks for everything. Um, this one is, you make my heart happy. That's another great one for Valentine's Day or any day you just want to say, I love you, right? Um, oh, this is a cute one. It says, oh baby, you are already loved more than you know. So that's that one right there. Fun little font on that one. And then this one right here says, sending you smiles for every moment of your special day with the cute little imagery around there too so you can see again how like this one the oh baby could fit right in the heart and then some of these smaller ones could fit right in the oval or in the rectangle so the fun part about this set is then um they call it punch party for the reason that we have the rectangular the postage postage stamp punch that coordinates and then the new oval like the double oval punch um, I don't have it yet, but I believe one is like a straight edge and then one is a scallopy edge. So, and then um, your heart punch pack um, will work with this. It's funny because I feel like Stampin' Up! said something about maybe it doesn't coordinate, but I used it and it worked. So maybe it, maybe it doesn't fit exactly, but anyway, you can make it work. So super awesome stamp set. This is a stamp set a celebration stamp set that you can earn for free. Now this sounds like a lot. It's with a $300 calling me. I'll call you back later, Meyer. <laughs> hey, Anna, hello, welcome. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, this would be the kind of thing if you're gonna host a party um, and get some friends together and do some stamping, then accumulate your orders, get to a $300 order. Uh, you know, maybe you wanna put that Mac Daddy order in, why not, right? I've done it myself uh, more than once, I'm sure. The really cool thing is, however you do it, for every $50 you spend, you get to pick, pick a free celebration item. So if you put in that $600 order, or I'm sorry, the $300 order, you would get six free celebrations 
celebration items and then you'd also get the punch party stamp set for free as well because it's celebration now this is only good on orders through the end of this month through february 28th so it's coming up soon right we're already on february 5th so 23 more days to be able to get this stamp set for free during celebration so awesome super cute we're going to have some fun we're going to make two fun projects with this today and have a great time with it all right so yeah and i'm glad you can join us today on the live too it's always fun when you can catch the live it's great i love that people watch the recording afterwards but it's so fun to see all the names popping up as we are um live so i can say hello and welcome you personally while we're right here doing our thing so okay let's see um real quick i want to remind you guys about the starter kit deal because that's another way that you could get that punch party stamp set right is well let me let me back up we'll talk about the starter kit right because we again through the end of february usually with through the end of March. So we've got one less month of celebration right now. So through the end of February, you can pick $125 in product, anything you want out of either the January to June mini catalog or our most current annual catalog. So pick whatever you would like, get to $125. You can't go a penny over even. So it has to be as close to 125 without going over, like kind of like the price is right, right? You pay only $99 plus sales tax. That 10% shipping fee is waived that we normally pay on our orders. So that's another awesome deal. Plus, I always have to show you guys because I love, this paper is just so pretty. I think um, all of these colors are just so fun and beautiful. So five packs of designer series paper in brights regals subtles neutrals and um our 2020 2022 <laughs> in color pack um and i have this one open so i'll just fan it out i think i've shown you guys a number of times i probably should have had a different one open but i just love I can't wait. I haven't even played with it yet. I really should make something with this paper too. But here's one of the examples of the patterns of paper that you get in the designer series paper pack. There's the front, there's the back. So some really cool patterns of paper there also. Again, five packs of paper. It's 200 sheets of designer series paper free as well in your starter kit. Plus, then go ahead and put your first order in, right? Put your $300 order in, right? Get your 20% discount. Get the Punch Party stamp set because you put a $300 order in, right? And you also get six free celebration items. So I think that's kind of like the the what I call like the sweet spot during celebration is if you buy that starter kit, then just put that whole big order in right away. You meet your quarterly, your $300 quarterly minimum. You meet that with that one order. You get 20% off of your order anyway, right? So that's an awesome deal. And then you get all those celebration freebies, six free celebration items and the punch party stamp set. Awesome stuff, right? So let me know if you guys have any questions on that. We have had a number of people take advantage of the starter kit deal and we love welcoming new ink inspired stampers into our stamping group so we'd love to have you join us as well okay so again if you have any questions please let me know on that if you are wondering about the starter kit and how it works i'd be happy to help answer any of the questions that you have okay um i think we are going to jump right in let's do our first drawing right so we have names in the drawing for these are the super cute the little resin hearts just in time for a uh, valentine's day they're great any time of year though honestly love to put the little so we've got white hearts and then kind of um i think they're either real red they look like real red to me i don't know if they say in the catalog either that or poppy parade real red or poppy parade hearts in here so in my little basket as usual if you shared the facebook live video that i did um i guess it was two weeks ago now right so you've had two weeks to share that facebook live video your name is in here or if you're new to me and have not signed up for my email list if you did that you also got a free pdf tutorial for signing up for my email list and your name is in the drawing right here right now for those resin heart embellishments okay i always include the link to sign up for my email list which is the best way to stay updated on what's going on uh, with stampin up with me personally in my stampin up business what um classes we have going on locally what um, to-go kits i'm offering for the month um, anything else that we have going on best way to stay informed is to sign up for my email list and that link is at the top of this video after i edit it um, and upload it today right but any facebook live video you'll see the link is right on there to sign up for my email list okay so here we go let's see oh i, I can sometimes i can feel when they're like bunched together so you can hear me like 
rifle it around. I'm trying to get them all separated out so everybody has a fair chance. I'm all about fair, right? So a fair chance at winning. And our winner is Miss Sabina Miller. All right, congratulations, Sabina. I will have these out on my porch for you to pick up anytime you would like. So congratulations, Sabina. Uh, so fun. Love giving away those cute little embellishments there. All right, let me get that situated so it's ready for the next drawing. So, okay, I will tell you what we're gonna give away on the next Facebook Live. Again, if you share the Facebook Live video or sign up for my email list, are these super cute. These are the little details embossing folders. So this is another little set of embossing folders that work in either our regular um, Stampin' Cotton emboss machine or the mini, the little mini Stampin' Cotton emboss machine. These will fit perfectly inside there as well. So that's what we will draw for on our next Facebook Live video, okay? All right, so let's see, more good stuff. I'm like, I'm always looking around at my table. What do I wanna show you guys next, right? Well, actually, I think that we should welcome our newest ink-inspired stamper, Miss Jenny Boffman, I think is how you say her last name. Jenny Boffman bought the starter kit through Sharon Greening, who is a current inspired stamper. So we want to welcome Jenny and congratulate her on getting that awesome starter kit deal. And then also congratulate Miss Sharon, because when she um, got her first team member in Jenny, that helped her promote to silver status. So congratulations to Miss Sharon Greening as well, who I think is watching live on her promotion to silver. That was a great, great feat for her. She had been working working so hard and, and trying to find that first team member and she um, finally did that with Jenny. So congratulations, I know, because she's been working really hard at that. She's had the sales, which you need $3,600 in sales in rolling 12 month sales. So that's a pretty significant number. Um, and then she just needed that one team member. So congratulations to Sharon and Jenny and welcome to Jenny to our Inspired Stampers group. So awesome, awesome news for both of them. Yeah, so, okay, let me check. I have to look at my notes again here. I was kind of trying to memorize things this time. <laughs> You're welcome, Sharon. Um, but I'm not very good at that. My brain, I don't know. It's like old brain. It's too old to like memorize everything. So, okay. So I will, let's talk about, um, thank you guys. Hi, Pam in North Carolina. And thank you for sharing. And Philomena, you're so sweet with your congratulations for everybody. Always so sweet. So, okay, let's see. Um, yeah, let's talk about, so if you are new to Facebook Live, I always like to mention that too, because I know we do get um, new people watching um, each week. So I wanna just kind of make sure that you know how it works on Facebook Live. I demonstrate two projects. If you put an order in and use the host code that is also at the top here of my, um, my Facebook Live video after I edit it, after we post it when we're all done today, um, if you use that host code and put an order in through me, you, for example, would get these two cards that I demonstrated. Are they both? Yeah. So these are the two cards that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live. So put in at least a $30 order using the host code. You would have gotten these two cards for free from me. And then your name also is going in the drawing to win this super fun, the hearts and kisses stamp set. Again, just in time for Valentine's Day, right? If you bumped your order up to $50, you also got to pick from the free embellishment for February now. These are the opal rounds. I have been using these so much. It's funny because they kind of don't look like too much um, on this little sheet here, but they've got, I don't know, can you see that opal kind of like the pearly, opaly, like they take on lots of different colors. I don't feel like you can see that at all um, in this video, but they're beautiful. I've been using these a ton. So you get to pick from either the free embellishment or this month's now the February Demo Design Dream Team PDF Tutorial. And I'll show you, this was my card um, that I included in the tutorial this month because I love the blues and greens. I love that color combination, right? Um, oh, yes, yes. So what is she saying? Um, they are pretty, yes. <laughs> the water scenes, you're right, Miss Pam. So yeah, so this card, like I said, is the card that I put into our Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. There are 16 different projects in here. Let me see if I can kind of, um, yeah, if you guys can kind of see, so there's my card right there, right? So we give you pictures and then you can see we give the step-by-step -step instructions. I'm not flipping very well, but you guys kind of get the idea, right? I did it um, front and back too, so, um, 
yeah let's see there we go we got one more yes Ooh, i love that one too very very pretty so yeah lots of great ideas in there um some fun folds in there too so that you can use those for any project that um, you would like so again you get to pick when you bump your order up to fifty dollars every single time you put a fifty dollar order in you get to pick from either the free embellishment or the pdf tutorial in addition to getting that free celebration item right now also because it's celebration time right so we are going to do our drawing now. Let me make sure I got my names in here. Yep. So if you put an online order in, you get those cards that I showed you, and your name is in the drawing now to win the Hearts and Kisses stamp set. Okay. So we're going to shake the names around in here. Not nearly as many as um, the shares that I had earlier, but I've got a couple of names in here. And thank you guys. I appreciate every single online order that I get. So thank you, thank you, thank you for your support of my Stampin' Up! business and for your orders. I truly appreciate appreciate your orders okay so here we go all right we got one make sure i just have one in my hand again ah and it is miss Teresa hinchman so congratulations Teresa. you are the winner of the hearts and kisses stamp set so i'll get that sent right out to you so you can use it like i said just in time for valentine's day right okay <clears throat> So now what am I going to give away? Guess what? I have an extra punch party stamp set. So I'm going to give this away on our next Facebook Live. So if you put an online order in of at least $30, use the host code that I'll give you in just a little bit. It's also always, always on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. You can always find that host code. So new host code for February. Now, if you put your order in of at least $30, your name will go in the drawing to win the fun punch party stamp set. And I'll have two project ideas for you all ready to go as well with that stamp set because that's what I'm going to show you in just a couple minutes. So you're welcome, Teresa thank you so much for your order i truly appreciate that so yeah thank you um all right i feel like i'm just like flying along as usual i always have so much i want to share with you guys so i just can't stop like talking quickly i guess um let me see i had a couple more notes to myself actually and i'm just seeing them now so okay <laughs> i think we're good though yeah okay so actually because I have more things I want to show you. Um, I want to flip the camera down so I can show you those things with the camera down because, you know, when things are backwards, that's kind of annoying. So, all right, turn your heads away for a moment. Enjoy my sweatshirt one last time, my bright orange Alma Panthers sweatshirt. Again, so super excited for Cade that he can finally play basketball. And I'm so excited to go watch some basketball too. So, okay, all right, enough about that. Turn your heads away for a quick sec. We are going to pop on over here and show you some more good stuff. And something looks weird here. Okay, let's see if we do that. All right, I think we're good. Okay, I'm gonna show you the host code here. <clears throat> this is our new host code for February, the 7WNJTGY9, okay? So that's what you wanna use when you put your order in to get your name in the drawing to win that punch party stamp set. Actually, maybe I'll kind of show you that a little bit more close up. Actually, we'll go that way, right? So you guys can see. So you could put happy birthday or bravo right inside that one or that one or that one, right? Ooh, the little heart, I forgot to point out that one. I don't think I said the I'm sorry either. I guess I kind of jumped around a little bit, but there's that fun heart. I love, this one fits perfectly inside there too. There's a little for you also and the little flower too. I guess I skipped a couple of those, but great stamp set. 16 different images in the Punch Party stamp set. Okay. All right. Let's see. Scoot stuff out of the way. <clears throat> oh, I know what I want to show you guys. So we had scrapbook class. I guess was it... Yeah, it was last week, right? The end of, um, yeah, the end of January, the last Tuesday in January, we had scrapbook class. It was a little bit snowy that day too. Not as much snow as we got last night and today though, I don't think, but we were still able to hold class, which was fun. We are in our new location um, at the Peace Lutheran Church here in Alma, and it's a nice, big, wide, open space, lots of room to spread out, especially during the COVID times. Great parking, um, lighting. It's just an awesome, awesome spot to be doing classes. So this was one of the pages that we made featuring the Paper Blooms Designer Series paper. 
And I love this. The world is better because of you. If you guys can see that sentiment right there. Oh, and then look, there are some of those opal rounds. Oops, I've got my host code thing there too. Can you guys see if I get right up there? There, can, maybe you can see a little bit better that opalescent ness of those, right? Okay, so that was one page. And then here is the second um, coordinating so you can see. All right, here was the other page that we made, again, with the Paper Blooms Designer Series paper. And then I love this, right? Oops, it says, sorry, I bumped into the little mount there. Just want to say, you make me smile. And th this, these sentiments are from the Hydrangea Haven stamp set. I love, again, the little swirly, curly, super cute and sweet font in that stamp set. And then, so we make three pages every month. So we made this page, and then next month we're gonna make the page behind it, which is the coordinating page. But again, this one features the flower and field designer series paper with my favorite sentiment, you always have a way of making my day, right? And I love that black and white baker's twine. This is from that Playful Pets um, little combo pack of twine and ribbon which fits perfectly on this page. So this is the surprise. No one has made this page. We'll be making this page at class in February on the last Tuesday in February, which whatever day that is, I can't remember right now. But I love, again, may good things grow all year long. Great sentiment with the um, fireflies. And then we use some of those um, black, um, what are those? I can't remember what those are even called. The black embellishments. Anyway, the new um, embellishments that are in our January to June mini catalog. And then some more of the gorgeous, this is my favorite pattern of that flower and field designer series paper. Hello, Michelle, welcome and thank you for joining us. So yeah, some fun scrapbook pages there for you. Again, those are featuring two different sets of designer series paper that you can get for free during celebration, right? Okay, so now I have to show you guys, I was working so hard on my fine art floral class to go. And I think I'm gonna show you the paper first because I love this designer series paper. Let's take a quick peek at this. <clears throat> yeah, all of the DSP, 223, thank you, Sharon. <laughs> yes, February 23 is the last Tuesday in February and that's when we'll be having scrapbook class. So if you're interested, let me know. I'd love to get you signed up for scrapbook class. Okay, so here, this is some of the Fine Art Floral Designer Series paper that is featured in my next class to go. So I just have to, let's see, I feel like that might be upside down. But can you guys see, I, it's almost like, I feel like you can, um, like, like you can almost, um, what do I wanna say, like swipe up the, the paint. Um, <laughs> yes, you're right. Now you have to get a couple punches, Miss Teresa. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. Or no, no, I guess I'm thinking of the other one. You need, yes, you, yeah, you need the, um, it's the lips and um, the the heart punch. Yes, super cute punch for sure. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so yeah. So can you guys see? It's like paint smudges almost that they use to make. I don't. I just love. There's so much like texture um, in that paper. Can you see that? So beautiful, right? So this is one sheet, and then there's the other side. So they kind of did the bright, bold colors on one side, and then some more muted wash colors on the other side. This one actually I think should go maybe more like that, right? So there's another, um, beautiful, isn't it, right? And then again, so another kind of swirly wash of color there. I love these, I love, oh my gosh. So our paper is always just beautiful. So many patterns to choose from. This one's pretty cool too, isn't it, right? So how about this one, another beautiful, I love the blues with the pinks there too, right? And that's kind of a little more funky geometric, right? This is beautiful too, that blue, isn't it? The blues and the yellows and the oranges together. And then this is a little bit more muted wash there. And then last one, and then the back side there. So you can see a beautiful pack of paper featured in our class to go, right? So I'm gonna just fan that out because you guys are gonna get a quarter of a pack of this paper if you order either option number one or number two in the class to go. So let me show you the cards that we are making and then I'll tell you about the different options that are available. So as always, we make four different cards in my class to go kits and you get to make two of each of them, okay? So we'll kind of flip through these quickly. So we've got an I'm thinking of you with the beautiful fine art ribbon too. This one, just want to say you are lovely. 
Um, we've got a happy birthday and then a thank you. And I had to use the fun fold. I can't stop. I got to just keep on using the fun folds, right? So those are the four cards that you would make, right? So option number one features, this is, oh, I got to show you this too, the art gallery stamp set. So two-step stamping where you'd stamp this image and then you can stamp this one over top of it. Same thing, actually you can stamp this one and then stamp that little baby over top of those. So you could do same color or you could do one color and then maybe with some detail pop that over top. Lots of different ways to use the stamp set there. It's just gorgeous. And then you can also add like that flower or those onto those stems there too. Plus great sentiments, right? Like I miss you, happy birthday, congratulations, good luck, sorry, Thank you. Best wishes. You are lovely and I'm thinking of you. So another super versatile stamp set with great sentiments and then beautiful, gorgeous, amazing imagery as well. Then we have the floral gallery dies. There's that one just want to say and you can add whatever sentiment you could say. Sorry, just want to say sorry. Um, these little guys are fun because they will die cut out any of your sentiments too. So some little labels. And then these all right here die cut out the flower and leaf imagery in the stamp set. Okay, so option number one includes the bundle, the art gallery stamp set, and then these are called the floral gallery dies. Okay, you also get a quarter of a pack, so you're going to get a six by 12 piece of the fine art floral designer series paper. You get a full bolt of the fine art ribbon. Look at the glittery gold sparkly ness on this ribbon. I love that ribbon too. And then you'll get a full package, not a partially used package, but a full <laughs> package of the champagne rhinestones. We use those a bunch on our cards also. Okay. Um, plus, oh, plus because all of that comes to more than $50, you get to pick a free celebration choice. You actually get the paper, the quarter of a pack of the paper for free with option number one as well. Plus you get the PDF tutorial that tells you step-by-step -step how to put each of those cards together. So tons and tons and tons included in option number one, which is $86. Okay. Option number two is if you already have the art gallery stamp set and then the, I can't never remember this, the floral gallery dies. Okay. So you need your stamp set to do your own stamping and the die cutting, right? So only get option number two. If you already have this bundle, right? You're going to get a quarter of a pack of the fine art floral paper. You get a full bolt of a rib of the ribbon and then a full package of the champagne rhinestones plus the PDF tutorial and all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards. Option number two is $30, okay? Option number one and option number two are available for porch pickup, no additional fee, obviously, for that. If you need them shipped to you, it's $8 for the priority mail shipping on um, the class to go kits. Option number three is the PDF tutorial that just tells you step by step. It gives you all of the dimensions, the item codes, the colors, everything you need to do, need to know to make the cards on your own. Okay. Option number three is $15, but it's free for anybody in my downline. So any of my current inspired stampers can get this PDF tutorial or any of my past PDF tutorials for free anytime they want them just for being a current inspired stamper. So great reason to get that starter kit because then you can get those um, to go or um, the tutorials from me every single month for free. Also, option number four is for my downline. They can get all the make and take parts and pieces, everything that they need. They do still need their stamp set and their dies, but they're going to get that on their own um, and use their demonstrator to get their 20% discount off of their order, right? So option number four for those make and takes for my downline is $12. You get everything else that you need, all the ribbon, embellishments, the doilies. Um, I do the, all the die cutting that is not needed um, with those dies. So for example, like that little square right there, I die cut those for you too. So that's $12 again for any of my current inspired stampers. Um, lastly, RSVP deadline is two weeks from today on Friday, February 19, and the kits will ship out no later than March 2nd. So let me know if you have any questions on this class to go. These cards, just beautiful with the paper. Love the coordination too, right, of the stamp set and the dies, the paper, the ribbon, all of the colors that are included in the paper. I use as kind of my jumping off point to design my cards. Um, and then also use, obviously, those coordinating colors. So it's made so easy to make beautiful projects with all of our coordinating uh, products. Okay, all right, I'm going to try to scoop this away, and we are going to do our stamping. Okay, I'm 
think I got that. Yep, I'm trying to see, is there anything else to tell you guys about? But I think we are good. Get my grid paper. Sorry, this is like all askew too, isn't it? We're gonna kind of scoot that up and out of the way though. All right, let's see, are we, I think we're pretty good there, right? Okay, so like I said, we are gonna use this Punch Party stamp set that again, if you put an order in of at least $30 and use the host code, you can get your name in the drawing to win of this stamp set too, right? Okay, so first card, I had to go with a Valentine theme today, guys, because we're getting so close to Valentine's Day. You could turn this into whatever kind of a card. You know, I used come some very um, traditional like Valentine colors, right, with the pinks and the reds, um, but you could change this up and use any basically pink Pick another color or pattern of designer series paper and you can this could be like an anniversary card or something as well right oh <laughs> tammy trying to unbury yourself from the snow i know i'm basically just trying to ignore it right now and i'm telling my kids you guys are gonna have to go out and shovel <laughs> that's my plan for them for today because of course school was called off even last night so they didn't even have to worry about getting the call this morning they already knew last night that no school today so they have, this is kind of crazy, guys. So since they went back to like live school, which they didn't have um, for the past couple of months, like before Christmas, um, every single week except one, they have had a snow day since the beginning of January. And they also get Wednesdays off. So they go to school Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, Friday. They have Wednesday off every single week kind of to help the teachers because, oh my gosh, would you just not ever want to be a teacher <laughs> right now? I mean, I get it why they need that Wednesday to kind of help with the in-class learning and the virtual learning, but it's just not. So they basically have had three-day weeks pretty much since the beginning of January <laughs> with all the snow days and that Wednesday virtual day off also. So nutty times around here right okay so I will stop chattering about all those other things and let's get to making our fun so these these are the punches the um heart punches that glare is bad isn't it right uh let's see uh <laughs> Sharon you told your plow guy not to hurry because you're not going anywhere I know I, there definitely aren't too many people out right now that's for sure so that's nice of you because I'm sure there are other people calling them saying where are you oh all right so here we go uh, let's see I think I have everything that we need right I'm going to scoot these maybe over here a little bit. Okay, so let me tell you about dimensions of things first. So did I even open? Because I think this is kind of fun. It's kind of a fun fold card, right? Hi, Lisa. Welcome. Glad you can hang out with us today. Okay, so we are starting. This is a piece of real red cardstock that measures. It's five and a half by seven and a half. So I basically just cut off an inch on the end because normally... Here, this would be our full sheet of cardstock, almost. Oops, what am I doing? Let's go this way. There, so here's our 11, right? Actually, if we go that way, maybe it makes more sense for you guys, right? So here is along the 11 inside, we cut it at five and a half inches, and then along the eight and a half, so we cut an inch off right along there, and then we still scored it at four and a quarter inches, okay? So there is always our nice crisp fold on our card. That's how that's going to start right here. Ah, uh, time change. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you're right. Okay, yeah. So it's, oh, it's just 11.08 for you. Well, you are going to be really on top of things then. Um, yeah, at 11.08. So sorry about that. I know, crazy time change, right? Okay, so piece of designer series paper measures five and a quarter by three inches. And this is some of the fun. Yes, the little snail mail. Isn't this so cute? So I loved that these patterns kind of um, were valentiney, but then look at those cute little, the snails, the snail mail. I, <laughs> these little guys I think are just so stinking cute. So you could kind of make it fun and do that side as well, right, if you wanted. And then this is another piece of the snail mail with the little mushrooms, right? Aren't those cute? So this one measures one inch by five and a quarter inches. And then I just have some scraps of real red and whisper white to do our stamping and die cutting. Okay, so let's see, let's do our stamping. I think I really just need, so I've got my real red ink. And you know what I was thinking? I kind of go over this quickly, but when I'm at class, I realize that there are, people um, still have a little bit of a hard time with the stamping, kind of 
you know, not getting ink all over themselves and everywhere else too. So I, I thought I better slow down and really kind of give a quick little lesson on your stamping because it's so important. This is such a big part of what we are doing. So I like to suggest to use your stamp and pierce mat when you're using the photopolymer. So these, the clear stamps that don't have the cling in between them, I think it's almost like this is the cling that would be in between the stamp on the clear block. You almost use just that like little work pad work surface, right? So good, that's a good starting point is use this as a little work surface. If you're gonna stamp off the edge of your paper, you can always put this piece underneath your grid paper so you don't get ink. You can see that's happened, um, but you don't get ink all over everything or all over the stamp and pierce map. Okay, so we've got our ink open. And I always say this, but a nice, easy tap, tap, tap. You do not have to press hard. When people press hard, all you do is you get ink all around the edges of the clear block, and then it usually ends up on your cardstock too. So you do not need to press hard. If you need to re-ink your ink pads, go ahead and do that. But you should never have to, can you see how I'm not, I'm not, I, I call it full body weight stamping because kids love to do that where they come up and they push super hard. You don't have to do that. Just e nice, easy tap, tap, tap. Hello, Kathy, welcome. And then you press straight down and sometimes it'll kind of rub, but I'm not wiggling or rocking my clear block. And then I lift straight up. So can you guys see? So I didn't get ink all over my cardstock. I didn't get ink all over my clear block. I just did that nice, easy tap, tap, tap. Press straight down and lift straight up, okay? So hopefully that helps you guys a little bit because um, I'm, I'm always surprised and I think, oh, I, I need to talk about that more, I guess, when I'm doing my stamping on these Facebook Lives too. So, okay, I think, let's see, we are gonna use, so we've got the One Punch Rosemary, welcome. We're gonna use the regular heart punch right here so you guys can see that, right? So we've got the... You make my heart happy. So we've got that one right there. And then we're gonna use the scallop edge with our piece of real red cardstock. Let's punch that baby out. You can see I always do it upside down. I always hold the punch in my hand, two hands, and do a firm punch there also. Okay, now we need to do a little bit of die cutting. We're gonna do this, these two pieces right here with another set of dies. Let me grab those. Oh, I do have them right here, okay. So these are the Be Mine stitched dies that are in the annual catalog. These came out, I'm thinking last year, um, but we're actually gonna use these two. So that's how I do that so I don't confuse myself, right? But you can see, look at all of these. So these kind of fit right in there. So you can see, look at all of the hearts and some of them have um, that little scallopy edge. They do the stitching and they will die cut. Also, you'll see what happens with these in just a sec. How I can get these two out of that one right there, right? And then the little floating hearts, that's all one piece. A super cute, I forget about this one. I love that little scallopy border edge. Hello, Susan, welcome. And then some more, these are just a little bit more narrow hearts with some flowers and more detail there too. So beautiful. <laughs> hey, Sunday, no problem. I'm glad you can be here with us. Anytime that works for you, you can always catch up later, right? So again, those are all the dies that we're not using and these are the two that we are going to use. Can you see those? Got them kind of down at the bottom of the screen there, didn't I? Okay. So I'm gonna grab my stamp and cut and emboss machine and we are gonna put these right on here. So we're gonna do this one and I'm realizing I probably should have brought my paper piercing tool over because the one little piece tends to kind of stick inside the die, at least on mine. Maybe it doesn't happen to everybody, but okay, so we've got that. I might run and grab that real quick after I run this through. I think I will. Okay, sorry, that's wiggling a little bit. And man, it is still snowing here. This is, I don't know, one of our bigger storms, I guess I'd say at this point. Okay, so can you see the little stitching edge there? So this one, die cut that heart with the stitching edge, and then we've got this little detail that we're gonna use here. Maybe I can use my, let's see, can we do this? I don't wanna hurt myself, you gotta be really careful with your paper snips, but I think this might work too, with those little holes. 
Yeah, I think that's gonna help me get, get it out enough, isn't it? I thought it did. Let's try one or two more. I can hear it. It's like I can hear it um, popping. If not, I'll go grab my, my paper piercing tool, but I think, yeah, I think we're good. <laughs> yes, eight inches yesterday, Lisa, huh? I know. I don't I don't know what we're getting. I haven't I haven't paid attention to the news. It's a lot though. Hey Lori. Okay, so can you guys see that little? So it did the scallop and the stitching. Super cute, right? Okay, so let's move these guys out of the way. I'm just gonna put those right back in here so I don't lose anything because that could happen. Um, all right, we're done with this. Let's get this out of the way. And we can put our cute little Valentine's Day card together here. But again, I think you could change um, the paper up and make it more of like a um, an anniversary or a wedding card even too, right? Um, okay, let's see. I think we have everything that we need. I want this little piece too, right? I need my adhesive. Okay. We will, I'm going to put that one right over there because I know at some point I'm going to need to do that, right? Okay, so let's just put our You Make My Heart Happy. We'll put this one right on that guy right there. Okay, yep, we're in view. I was trying to make sure. I always, I get my head down and I get going and then I'm like, can you guys even see what I'm doing? So we're going to put this little heart piece is going to go right inside there, like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, Sharon, you're talking about the dump trucks that scoop up the snow from the parking lots and have to move it to some other location so there aren't huge piles of snow in the parking lots. I think that is the funniest thing. I mean, I get it, but it just seems like such a funny thing to have to do. <laughs> yep. Okay, so we're gonna just add some adhesive here. And now this one goes on the edge, so I need to make sure. So it's gonna go like that, so I only wanna put adhesive on this side of my heart because the other side kind of hangs off the edge. And I'm definitely using my um, little silicone mat because I don't wanna get adhesive all over my um, grid paper here. So let's see, we'll put that one right about there. Oops, actually this one goes underneath, doesn't it? So let's see if we do this one, maybe right about there, right? So again, I didn't want to put adhesive on this side because I don't want that to be sticking because then you wouldn't be able to open your card very well, right? And then we're just going to put some dimensionals behind this little guy. Okay, let's put a couple of those on there. Peel those babies off. I'm gonna maybe put him right about there. And then we have to use, so I use some holiday rhinestones. You, if you had the red rhinestones, these would work too. Um, so I used the red rhinestones that are part of the holiday rhinestone package. Um, but we do have the real red rhinestones. And again, those would work as well, but I love all the different colors. <laughs> yes, Lori, you're right. Better late than never. So they've got the kind of the navy. This is maybe a pool party or a um, balmy blue. We've got um, green, I would say garden green. I'm going to call this either real red or cherry cobbler. And I think these are maybe like a orange, like a pumpkin pie. Hello, Roseanne. Thank you for joining us as well. Okay, last but not least, this is the carryover. This is that real red sheer ribbon that was in our holiday, right? Our August to December mini catalog. I had some of this left and I love this ribbon. I love how it ties and I love how, I like that sheer. It's just so pretty. And it always makes the kind of wingy, wingy dingy. I don't know, but I love, I don't know. There's something about it that I, I love how, um, this ribbon works. So let's see, what do we need? A glue dot. We're going to use, I'm going to use a glue dot. Actually, let me trim it off first here, right? Okay, which way is that going to go? Maybe like that. And then we'll do that. And then we're going to put a glue dot behind this and add that onto our card. And there we go. Yep, so you can see a little wingy dingy. It goes it goes different ways every single time. <laughs> Thank you, Rosemary. 
Uh, yeah, Valentine's cards. I know they can be kind of tricky, can't they? But I think, you know, if you go with those kind of traditional colors, I think that helps make it feel Valentine-y. And then there you go. There's your inside too. You could put a piece of white cardstock in there if you wanted. I kind of liked having the red. If you use a black marker, you can still um, write on the inside there too. So there is card number one for you. Now, all right, let me just scoot this out of the way a little bit and we will get ready to do our second card here. Okay. Do, do, do. Okay, we're all good. Kind of cleaned off here. Okay, so this one is another fun, it's another kind of Valentine card, I thought, with that. My heart is wherever you are, right? And I, I had to use, again, some more of that snail mail designer series paper. It's just such cute paper, and I didn't really even notice it in um, the new mini catalog until I opened it up for the paper share and started cutting and playing with it. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I just love, so a little bit less traditional, but I think it still feels very, it could feel Valentine-y if you needed it to with those little hearts um, kind of on that designer series paper there too. So let me tell you about this card. And so again, it's featuring this stamp right here from the punch party. So while I've made two cards very Valentine-y feel type cards. It's not a Valentine stamp set. It's very versatile with all of those other sentiments in there as well. Okay, and here's our postage stamp punch. So this was the punch that would coordinate with either that one or that one right there that we used, okay? All right, let's get these things out. So let me tell you about dimensions. So this time we started with, yep, I do have everything there. Okay, so this is a piece of Daffodil Delight cardstock. Um, full sheet right here, right? So again, along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches. And there's our card base, right? Slip that right underneath there. Then we have, so here's the snail mail. Isn't this just so cute? I don't know what it is. I think it's the fun bright colors too, but and kind of whimsical. I, I'm drawn to that kind of feel, right? And then there's the, the back side, if you can see some more fun little geometric patterns there. Uh, this measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. While I'm thinking about it too, all of the colors, the dimensions, item codes, everything that you need to recreate these cards will be listed on my blog at Gathering Ink with a K, so gatheringinspiration.com. That'll happen this afternoon ever after I get everything uploaded to my blog and YouTube and everywhere else I put things, okay? So watch for that if you're interested in getting any of these products too. And don't forget, order now even the basic stuff like cardstock, adhesive, envelopes, because then you can get free celebration items too. Okay, so this is another piece of designer series paper. Thanks, Sunday. I'm glad you like that. Oh, look, the snails. Aren't they so cute with the little, the, not little, the big buggy eyes? Oh my gosh, I just, you gotta get this paper. I'm gonna be playing with it more and more and more. Okay, so this one measures two inches by five and a quarter inches, okay? And then I think everything else, this is another piece of, again, snail mail. Hello, Dawn. Look at, oh, here's some more. <laughs> they just make you smile. I think that's what it is. These little buddies just make you smile, right? So we're gonna use this to do our die cutting. And then I have another piece of real red and whisper white to do our punching and our stamping there too, okay? So let's actually do that. We're gonna do our stamping. Again, I am using my Real Red ink. And you guys know this, right? So when I looked at my package of Snail Mail Designer Series paper, it told me to use Daffodil Delight because that's the color that's right there. It told me to use Real Red. I could have used, I think that's either, I think it's Bermuda Bay. Um, what else? This is probably a Blushing Bride, but that's the beauty of Stampin' Up, right guys? So Real Red in the Designer Series paper that matches my Real Red cardstock that matches my Real Red ink. And that's how you can make these super cute cards coordinating so quick and simple and easy. Okay. All right, so we've got our Real Red ink again, Stamping 101 right here. We're gonna use our little stamp and Pierce mat. Okay, I'm gonna put my white card stuck right on there. I'm gonna do a nice, easy, do not press too hard. You do not have to, straight down and straight up. You don't have to wiggle, rub. I've seen people like rubbing around, don't have to do that. Just tap, 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 and then again, Press straight down. I might use my finger to make sure all the ink comes off, but I'm not wiggling or rocking while I'm stamping and then lift straight up. That's it. 
and then we don't get ink all over everywhere that we don't need it, right? It's not really a big deal, but you don't need it in those other places, so why do it, right? Okay, so let's see. Am I going to... I might not have given myself enough. Okay, we're gonna have to play with this a little bit. So here's my trick. When I when I do this, I should have given myself more. Ooh, you know what? Actually, I think I might need to even just like cut that off. I think it wasn't fitting in there. Okay. Well, I should have given myself a longer piece. Actually, you know what? Do I have more on the other one? Yeah, okay, we're gonna do this again. I'll save that one. I'll fuss around with that. We're gonna use this one right here. That will work. <laughs> I wasn't thinking when I um, pulled that piece of paper out that I was going to need more to hang on to. Okay, again, nice, easy tap, tap, tap. Press straight down, lift straight up. Okay, there we go. All right, now I've got lots to hang on to, so this is going to be much easier to pop that in there. Okay, there we go. Punch that little baby out with my cute little postage stamp punch, right? Okay. All right, so we've got that. We also just need real red scallopy heart right there. And then we are going to do just a little bit of die cutting with this piece right here. Ah, yes, post-it. No, that's right, Sharon. I should have been thinking of that. Yeah, good advice. So what Sharon is saying is this piece right here, I could have given it a little tail with a postage, with a post-it note, and then I would have had something to hang on to to slip that in. I forget about that. So good idea. Thank you, Sharon. I appreciate that tip. All right, where are my dies? Here we go. We are using, these are the Stitched So Sweetly dies, and we've got this one right here. So this is the largest um, rectangle, the scallop edge rectangle in the stitched so sweetly dies. So we're going to pop this paper and I want it going, ooh, ooh, I cut this just wide enough. I want the um, lines going vertically. So we're going to do it just like that. I probably did that so I could make a couple more for kind of thank you cards, right? So if you put an order in and use that host code, you're going to get both of these cards that I'm showing you right here and now as a thank you from me. There we go. So isn't that fun, right? Okay. Let's get that right out of the way. And this. Okay. All right. So let's see. I think we are ready to put things together. Okay. So we're going to add some adhesive. And you can see I don't use a ton of adhesive. This is really strong. Our stamp and seal is very strong adhesive. I just put it in the corners. I don't ever run it through the middle of my cardstock. I just kind of do in the four corners because this, this is a little bit um, lighter weight too, the designer series paper is. So again, I think you, you really only need your adhesive. This one I don't think went quite to the edge um, in the corners. So we're gonna put this piece, gonna run that right along there. And then we're going to add some dimensionals. Look at, okay, you guys, <laughs> they make me smile every time I look at these silly little snails. I know it is cute, isn't it, right? And the fun colors. Yep, I agree. Anything to make you smile, right? In this like crazy snowy winter wonderland that I guess us further north are experiencing right now. Well, it's February. That's what happens in February, right? You can't complain. It is what it is. Okay, so I'm just peeling the dimensional backings. Sorry. I'm doing that off camera so I don't get the little backings all over everywhere. So we are just going to pop this little baby right on there. And then I'm going to add some more dimensionals behind my heart. These things are funny. Is this happening to you? Like the little honeycomb? It's all coming apart for some reason. Okay, we got that one there and that one. We are gonna add, ooh, ooh, before I do that, hold on. Here's the other half of, so I think I had shown you, um, oh, it was on the scrapbook pages. So here, this ribbon, this is part of the Playful Pets combo pack of ribbon. So we've got this real red and white, that cute little stitched, and then this black and white twine. If you can see both of these 
the black and white twine, and then that real red with the stitching. Those come in a combo pack. I think it's called Playful Pets um, combo pack of ribbon. Okay, so I'm going to just run a little bit of adhesive right along there. I think that's the easiest way. And then I'm just going to do that. And I'm going to loop. And then I'm going to bring it back. And maybe we'll do right about there like that right and trim that off that's all we need there then now where'd my heart go uh oh <laughs> it stuck to something i bet didn't it because i had the dimensionals where did it go guys did anybody see where it went <laughs> okay i have room i'm gonna punch another one i will find it so i peeled the dimensionals off of the back of that heart um it's stuck somewhere. <laughs> I'm going to find it as soon as we're done, but I don't see it right now. Whoops. Yeah, that's what happens when you get a little ahead of yourself. I thought maybe it was on my ribbon, but I couldn't find it there either. Okay, so we're going <laughs> to... I'm just like laughing at myself. Okay, why does that look so uneven too? Let's see. Uh, let's pull that a little bit longer. Sorry, I'm being I'm in a futzy mood today, apparently. Right, okay. So we've got that one right there. Then we're gonna add some adhesive along here, and I'm gonna put another dimensional. Oops. Oh my gosh. Okay, losing it. I think I'm losing it, ladies. We're gonna put that one maybe right about there. There we go. Okay, and then just always have to add a little sprinkle. So I have a few of these left. These are the playing with pattern resin. Oh yeah, <laughs> thank you, Sunday. It's on the back of the scrapbook page. It probably is. All right, I'll check that out later. Okay, so again, these are the playing with pattern resin dots. So these are, uh, I think this is Coastal Cabana, but I thought it worked well enough with the Bermuda Bay. This is Crushed Curry, and then I think this is Purple Posy. <laughs> Thank you, Philomena. I'm glad that you are enjoying this card too. And my, um, I don't know, my lack of, <laughs> you know, I don't know. At least I can laugh at myself, right, ladies? Okay, so we're going to put one there and one there and then one more. So I'm going to have to get another package of these. I'm running low. There we go. All right. And okay, so I just have to like trim that off a little bit more. There we go. All right, so there, second card made right there with, with the super duper cute punch party. I love, I thought that worked perfectly. The punch party stamp set working with that snail mail designer series paper and then the fun colors there too, right? So don't forget, ladies, make sure here, I'll, I'll pull the host code back up, right? Okay, so if you would like to get these two cards from me, just use this host code, the 7WNJTGY9. You will get this card and this card as a thank you from me, free with your $30 order. You also will get your name in the drawing to win the Punch Party stamp set. And then don't forget, if you bump your order up to $50, duh, you get a free celebration choice, right? And then you also get to pick from either the Opal Rounds or the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial as a thank you for your order. So, and thanks guys. I appreciate you hanging in there with me and my zaniness today. So <laughs> yes, it happens to all of us, doesn't it? You're right, Anna. So thanks for watching, ladies. It was great to hang out with you today. Hopefully you're surviving the snow and the winter and all the craziness. And I'll be sure to report back. Um, hopefully good things happen next week in our first basketball game here at Alma High School. All right, thanks guys. Bye everybody. We'll see you soon. Thank you, thank you.